Hey, what's up, folks? It's Chris, your favorite host with Sky Limitless Media. And as always, we got John MZ behind the camera. And we are in Delray Beach, Florida at the Glen Eagles Country Club. I'm schwitzing over here. Now, this is a very special day for a special guy named Sammy Feldman. We're here for our first ever red carpet ambush at a brisk. I mean, a bar mitzvah. So we're gonna be going around to ask the guests here today, what does it mean to be a bar mitzvah? What is a bar mitzvah? Who's a bar mitzvah? Apparently, it's the entrance into manhood. So we're gonna see Sammy go right into manhood and maybe even get circumcised, I don't know. <laughs> so break out your yarmulkes, cause it's mitzvah time, baby. L'chaim. We're just coming out of a great ceremony here, a bar mitzvah ceremony, so we're just going to go around and ask a few folks what it is to be a bar mitzvah. We're just going around asking a few people to educate the world, what does it mean to be a bar mitzvah? To be a bar mitzvah? Uh, it's a big privilege and a big occasion. Let us Gentiles know, what does it mean to be a bar mitzvah? It means that today I am a man. And it's nice to become a man after being a little boy. After being a little boy? Huh? You're still a little boy, but we're going to bar mitzvah you. I'm gonna, I need to get circumcised first. Well, we'll take care of that too. What does it mean to be a bar mitzvah? Well, this is my first one, and it meant a lot. I learned a lot, and... Um, it's scary as hell. You weren't paying attention, were you? I did pay attention, and I read the book. Uh, so it looks like a newborn baby. Is this the new dads breastfeeding their babies? This is, yes. Standing in front of all those people, trying to recite what you've been learning for the last four or six months. You heard it coming to theaters near you, the newest horror movie, The Bar Mitzvah. Awesome. So did you learn anything about what it means to be a bar mitzvah? I, I learned that now he is a man, so now he gets to take on the responsibilities of what a man has to do in the community and in his family, and I think it was beautiful. Are yourself, what are you drinking? Vodka Kramer. Can I taste it? <laughs> Tell us, uh, was your was was your breast this emotional? It was. Um, I didn't feel a thing, but it was still emotionally hurt me. You know? So how do you think Sammy did today? Oh my god, amazing, yeah. amazing. And tell us, what is it? What is the bar mitzvah all about? <laughs> well, it's about, you know, passing on traditions, I'd say mostly. That's that's the number one. And having a little fun. So let me ask you, what, is, what does it mean to be a bar mitzvah? It means that you're becoming a man. Do you have any parting words for Sammy as he exits childhood and into adulthood? Good luck. <laughs> Nothing like shellfish at a Jewish event, huh? Do you think Sammy's now, does, he deserves his entrance into manhood? Absolutely, he has to start shaving immediately, uh, starting tomorrow, uh, driving, and uh, probably heading off to college uh, at the end of the week. Um, is there anything in particular you liked about what Sammy did today? I loved what he said from his heart to his family, to his mommy. I loved that. It was beautiful. So what is the bar mitzvah all about? What's the ceremony all about? Didn't we explain that to you earlier? How do you think Sammy did today? He did really good. Yeah, what, what, what about what he did today impressed you so much? Um, I think his Torah portion. His Torah portion? The Torah portion? Yeah. yeah I didn't know we could read Hebrew like that. Yeah. So we, we started out with, we've got candy and we've got alcohol, but nobody had Kleenexes. Do you know how many times I cried today? I mean, he did so good. So good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, do, you think, um, do you think he did better or worse than his bris? So what do you think? You think Sammy did a good job? Yes. That's it? Did you did Sammy impress you? Did you know that he was uh, that smart and could read that much Hebrew? Yeah. Yeah, you know a bris is when they take apart take away your manhood and they give it back to you at the bar mitzvah. That's what we're finding out now. 
I, yeah, I agree. I, I think you're right. Were you impressed with your son today? Oh, I was so impressed. He was amazing. I can't believe it. It was so uh, unbelievable, that kid. I didn't know he could read Hebrew like that. It was amazing. Uh, you don't know Hebrew? Nope. Is that kosher chocolate? What? Is that kosher chocolate? I don't know. Did he do better uh, at his bar mitzvah or his bris? Uh, I think he did better at his bar mitzvah. At his bris, he cried a little. Well, you know, the bar mitzvah, it, uh, you know, you get the manhood back. Yeah, we're going to have a bris for you coming up. Sully, what was your favorite part of the ceremony? I, I thought it was very uh, informative. It was very uh, easy to understand. And we enjoyed it very much. Is that a kosher crab leg? I have no idea. <laughs> so what does that have Sammy to look forward to now besides puberty? Besides that, getting laid. <laughs> I thought you became a man at the breast. Oh, no. That's, where you, that's when you really learn that you're a man. What does he have to look forward to now besides puberty? Gray hair. What, what does he have to look forward to in his adulthood? Well, I think personally that Sammy's a very smart kid. Very smart. Uh, uh, I think he's got a, a wonderful future. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a lot smarter than he looks, right? <laughs> he did good. You think he did really well with his bris, didn't I think he? He did fantastic at his bris. The moil cut just the right amount. It was fantastic. Uh, and, and he finished the job tonight becoming a man. Yeah, Sammy nailed it, right? He nailed it. My favorite part was when he farted. No one heard about me. I like that. Oh, yeah, that is the part that you... Slip it in past Rabbi Paul. His favorite part was when you farted and I had to smell it. What would you think of Sammy's bar mitzvah? Uh, Sammy was unbelievable. Uh, was such a mensch. Such a mensch. You know what you, you know a mensch is? What's a mensch? Like a upstanding young Jewish man. I'm so glad you mentioned that. What did you guys think of the ceremony? How'd Sammy do? He did absolutely fantastic. He did wonderful. I thought he was going to mess up a lot. Did Sammy do better at his bris or his bar mitzvah? Oh, the bris. What did you think of the Torah portion? Good. Yeah. Um, so he did. could you have done better? I probably would have messed up. You think you would have messed up? What part would you have messed up? The Torah. Yeah. Why would you have messed it up? You don't know how to read Hebrew? I'm not good at it. I was there when Sammy was born, like when she pushed him out. So I will say that he did better today than he did at that. I wasn't impressed with the bris, but the bar mitzvah was very, <laughs> have a bite. <laughs> that a boy. Right, Isn't that, is that delicious or what? Uh, <laughs> would you have done anything differently? No. No, because he did it so perfect. Did you guys notice he farted? Nobody else heard it. <laughs> Folks, how did Sammy do? He's amazing. Oh my God, so he did. smart, he... so sharp. I was so impressed. He did so well. He's so cute. Sammy is an amazing kid. Did you guys hear it? No. Did you smell it? No. Yes. We heard he's quite the mensch. He is quite the little special person. Sammy is uh, going to do great things and just follow his heart. That's what you have to do. What, what specifically did you really appreciate about that the ceremony? The fact that he speaks perfect English, which is amazing with this generation. Take each day and make the best decisions. Did you enjoy yourself? Beautiful day so far. Was that your first bar mitzvah ceremony? Shalom, shalom. Not your first bar mitzvah ceremony? No, actually, it's not. I'm kind of a professional at this. Um, I've been to quite a few of these. Yeah, have you ever been to a bris? No, never. Um, uh, not yet to be invited. What does it mean to be a bar mitzvah? I don't know, I couldn't even start to tell you. And I thought the rabbi was amazing too. Kept me rabbi going Paul. to the whole sermon. Yeah, yeah, you know, it uh, speaks great English and I didn't know he spoke Hebrew that well. Oh my God, I, I didn't understand a word he said, but he must have said it right. What has Sammy got to look forward to now he's entering into manhood other than puberty? Sammy's got a lot to look forward to, to end up into adulthood. Taxes and work, baby. Love, finding love and yourself and that's it. Finding love and finding yourself. Uh, I found myself when I was a teenager also. <laughs> How are you? Are you enjoying yourself? I really am enjoying myself. This is the most Jew-ish party I've ever been to. <laughs> you, you mind we ask you a couple questions? Oh, yes, I do, actually. I love these people more than life itself. They're like my karma, my zen, my unbelievable people that
that have always been with me, that have always sheltered me, that have always loved me. Thank you, thank you. Can we ask you a couple questions? Oh my God. Um, does Sammy do better today or at his bris? I'd have to say today. Yeah. What made today better? Less crying. <laughs> How do you think your brother did for his bar mitzvah? Is Sammy doing a great job? An amazing job. I haven't seen him yet because I just got here. Yeah. Did Sammy do a great job at his bar mitzvah? What are those antenna for? I don't know. Uh, do you think you're gonna do better than Sammy did? Hell yeah! What are you gonna do that's better? Everything. Uh, I know you've been to quite a few bar mitzvahs in your day, coming from a catering background. Are you enjoying yourself today at this party? Absolutely, it's very beautiful. Hi. How did Sammy do today? He did amazing. Better today or at his bris? I wasn't there. Oh, it's a good thing you weren't there. I heard there was a lot of crying. Do you think your brother Sammy has a chance with any of these girls here? No. Let me ask you, how do you think Sammy did today? Sam Tabulous. Do you think Sammy's got a chance with any of the ladies here tonight? All of them. Especially the older ones. I think he has his choice. Yeah. It's a good thing they weren't at his bris. Do you know what a mensch is? Like the mensch on the bench? Sammy was amazing. He looks so handsome. I'm so proud of him. That's right, Sammy. Mazel, mazel. Good things. What's up, buddy? What's up? You got it. How do you think Sammy did today? He did all right, right? Yeah, he did good. Yeah, how are you going to do? Um, it, When I get by Miss Foot, I think I'm going to do the same thing that he did. This is the most Jewish party that I've been to. I've been to way more Jewish parties than this. I mean, there's shellfish and there's like pork and stuff. So It's kosher pork and shellfish. Hi. Uh, did Sammy do better at his bar mitzvah or his bris? I was at his bris, so he did better at the bris. All right, folks, we're coming up at Sammy's bar mitzvah. We're having such a great time. We're about to sign off. We learned what a bar mitzvah is all about, what Sammy's got to look forward to moving into the future, and, of course, which was better, the bar mitzvah or the bris? Skylar Millis Media, Chris and John, signing out, baby. See you at the next one.